back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman, and today we're continuing our expri ex <laughs> stumble, uh, continuing our adventures in Lucentia, which is now my correct understanding of the name of this world after getting it wrong and trying to correct the game on its own name. Kind of embarrassing. Anyway, um, so far all we've done in Lucentia is map out the overworld which is very small. It's a very small world. These are all very small worlds, but this one so far seems the smallest. And um, this sort of weird tree town in the world, which has only four buildings that we can tell. Maybe there are elves living in the trees we can't see. Um, all there have is, oh, we have is a temple, a wizard's guild where we can level up, a tavern where we can get the same tips we can get anywhere else in the game, it seems. And a bard's hall where we got very three very focused things: a new song for our bard, which just does crazy damage in combat, and two songs that look like hint dumps. Um, oh, and I should mention I bothered to pay attention to our quest, so our, I know what our quest is now, uh, which is the the crown of truth and the belt of Illyria, which are both things Illyria had. Um, and she has some sort of consort, I assume a male consort, and there's this clue which seems, oh, so these, huh, so these are things I found from bars in other dimensions that told me in Lucentia, um, find the bar, which I did, and I don't know that it gave me anything. They also told me go to the bard's hold and listen to the songs, which I just did. Um, and they said that there's a key in the Violet Mountains to access Cyanus's tower. This isn't guaranteed to be Latencia, but we did find a Violet Mountain. So presumably th this key is to the access the tower, and Cyanus might be the consort of Illyria, so her former lover before she died. Um, I guess I don't know that she's dead, I'm just assuming she's dead, because everyone else that we go to, you know, get help from is dead. Anyway, um, let's turn on the bard song, wait, uh, use, I get some light going even though I don't need it yet. And I'm going to try out the tomb. Oh, incidentally, off camera, I dropped all the, full, the roses because I'm running low on inventory space, and you can just get them again, and they're right here. So I don't know, if I get to some point in the dungeon where it seems like I need a rose, I'm going to go fetch them again. Um, I'm in a tomb. Do I wish to enter? Yes. Where is side A? There's side A. So stairs going down. So this is a this is an, an an up tomb. It's a above ground tomb. Okay, not what I expected. Lots of ways to go. This is west is a wall, but north is a little dead end. East goes out into the world. South is a long way. Um, what does auto map say? If I press the right keys. Auto map shows a lot of stuff mapped already. It's kind of weird. Um, pretty big level. And I'm going to pause the game for a moment while I set up the map. So, uh, plus, we want a new region. And that region will be Tomb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to tomb, what to to tomb? There we go. Um, I and the the coordinates are going to be sp based on where I am now. This looks like from the south. It's one, two, three, four, five, six up. 
So let's start ourselves there. One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like it goes a long way north, but I don't know how much. I'll adjust it later. Okay. And the stairs came up. Oops, I'm on the I'm on the gray color. There's the default color. Oh, wait. The stairs were down. I'm sorry. I'm I'm smoking something. Okay, so there's stairs down here because we came up. I don't know why that's thrown me for a loop. Um, and there's a dead end to the north, a wall to the west. Mr. Automap, you are so accurate. So. But he's missing some information. It's interesting. So I'm facing east, and he can tell, or it can tell, that there's a wall three up. Because I'm pretty sure that's three spaces. And it can tell there's a wall on this side here, but it seems utterly unable to comment on these walls. Well, so be it. Um, but down here, there's all kinds of information. Look at all of this. I don't think we're guaranteed these aren't one way walls yet. But we're still gonna take it down. I think that's a door. Sort of an implied wall at the south end, but I don't know if it's really there or not yet. Uh, is that complete? No, there's this piece and this piece. And can we can we see more? Oh, we can. Oh, and this dungeon is a little wider. fix that right now. Uh, say 13 by 3. Is it x by y or y by x? should be x by y, and it is. Um, and if I'm adjusting this, I'm going to make this be like 20 or something. Closer to what it needs to be. Not exact. Okay, in the east we got a trap. North we have wavering and something. South we got nothing. So we should be able to figure out where the wavering is, which we just did because we can't see it now. So wavering is here. And now we know where the something is. There's also something over here somewhere. I don't know how to notate that very well. And we're on a stuck spot. The spinner to the east and the west from here. I know how wide the world is, or this dungeon is. At least, as long as Automap didn't lie to me. I 
kind of want to know where this trap is, so I'm going to walk into it. Oh, you know what? I need to slightly resize this. Mm, need to resize it more. There we go. That should be... That should be enough to fit. Okay, um, so... We take a step, and we haven't hit a trap yet, or at least... If we did, there's another trap beyond it, or something. Turning south, there's no spinner. So we can remove that one. And we get our first fight of this dungeon. Mad Mages, Mind Mage, and Strike Fast. Okay, I'm going to try to strike the Strike Fast. I have the feeling that th there's going to be a lot of insanity in this in this world. Oh, the mad mages are skeletons. Let's try some Keel's Overtures. Hmm. They don't mess about. Well, I meant to have her use stun, but I didn't. Um, oh, I figured out the heal, the the soothing balm is a uh, item that applies regeneration. In other words, a full heal on one target. So I gave it to Elena, I think, because. My thinking was Elena Sundays doesn't have useful things to do. Oh, I should be using the Master Wand. Master Wand. I'm trying to think, if everyone in the party had Master Wands, would I use them regularly? And I don't mean would I forget, I mean would they be worth using? I'm not really sure. So, first fight one seemed very inefficiently. Um, a hammer trap? That doesn't sound nearly as dangerous as all the other things I've been encountering. Perhaps I just don't realize the scope of the hammer. Okay, so facing south, there was a spinner there. And... There were no spinners here or here, so probably the spinner is here. Still got a trap to the east. And I got a quiet to the north. I'm gonna just step forward to rule it out. Mm, 
quiet symbol. Somewhere there's a quiet symbol. Once more, this trap's still ahead, uh, which makes me think the trap is here. I have a quiet message, but more importantly, I have some mapping to do. I think these are three away, not four away, because the four away is extra small. Again, I'm gonna step forward one. Ah, what the heck. I'm gonna find the quiet zone. Two. There it is. Oop, not there. Here. And the quiet zone is also to our west. And stepping forward north, we can tell there's a trap exactly here. We have confirmation on spells wavering. But no quiet behind the first row of quiet. And it seems like we're having another fight. A haste mage, but only one, and right in stabbing distance. Seems like this should be easy. A, cod a codger bomb. Codger. Like an old man comes out, and like. I, or, or do we become codgers? We like start complaining about getting off our lawn and stuff. It, it, it's sort of weird to have that as a trap name. Oh, let me see how good our bard seal songs are here. So I've got a minus 11 and it goes to 22. So we're at 11 points, I think. We were already 11 points. I'm not sure. Maybe we were at 10 points, one or the other. Means I guess I didn't really learn anything. Either part of the songs got better or they didn't. That's what I learned <laughs> from not paying very good attention. Mm. Let's go that way. Let's go east. anything here that we didn't already know? I don't think so. See this wall? Uh, on the right, after this, I think we can see that. I think that's new. But this trap is not new, and we know where it is now, so make it go away. from the wall behind. Yep, so I just... Oops. Just went over here, can't detect the something from there. Let's head off south. Okay, so at the first step, we got notification of a something. Which is here. There's also one to the east, and the already located spinner. Turning around. From here we can't detect the something, so there's one here. I feel like this, this zone is going to be full of special spots, based on what we've detected so far. Guards, witches, and indigo dragon. 
Okay, let's kill the guards. Um, Keel's Overture. I should have healed a while ago. Stun. Restoration. And... Uh, rhyme. Maybe I should have cast something more specifically on the witches. I don't like how that whole the whole thing where they cast a spell and then I don't get to find out what it is. It could be bad. Oh, rhyme doesn't go that far. Every, I'm still getting worried when I see the stoning him. I still keep thinking um, it's it's me that's getting stoned, and not in a good way. Uh, I guess I should do more heals overtures. It's hard to it's hard to decide that the healing song is more worth it now. I should be catching casting anti magic is what I should be doing. Dragon can breathe pretty far. The early dragons tend to only be able to breathe on you from like 10 or 20 feet. Maybe this is where I should, I should start having a healthy respect for the healing song. Uh, I'm gonna take a dragon. Seems like a bigger threat than a witch. Tongue plate. I'm pretty sure that's an upgrade for Lady Oak and Shields. Lady Oak Shields. But Lady Oak Shield is carrying too much. Uh, including an arms knife with zero charges, which I'm going to drop. plate does she have? She has diamond plate. Tongue plate? Well now. Check that out. Four points. Okay. Um, I feel almost remiss in not giving it to Grisnok, but whatever. Maybe we'll find some more. So turning east, we don't detect anything bad or anything at all, really. 
and to the west we also don't detect. That reminds me, we didn't check west from here, so west from this doesn't detect anything, which means our wraparound spinner is in the is in this position. Okay. Well, I just detected a something here going east. That doesn't tell me much. West, nothing. South, turning east, nothing. Turning west, nothing. South, there's a waver. And the waver, we didn't sense from here, so it's a wraparound waver. Up in the far corner, we'll adjust that later when we figure out how tall things really are. I kind of feel like just phase dooring south. Can I do that? Phase door, no. How about a teleport? Teleport worked. Why just get stuck? I don't. I don't think that's a thing, but. Maybe it'll, I'll learn better. Maybe it'll, I'll find out it is a thing. Oh, we're standing on a something, I think. Or no, we're just getting a fight, and it cancels the message. I'm being a dumbo. Uh, mm, sure. Kill the strike fast. Attack the Shade Warrior if it advances. Um, heals Overture. I keep forgetting to heal after combat. It hasn't been a thing in the past. Hide. Um, cold on the Blank Mages. Restoration. And uh, Master Wand on the Blank Mages. Okay. I think it's time for the healing song because uh, I just don't think that dragon's going to go down to Kiel's compasses. I think he canceled our turn. I feel like we should be getting new loot. And maybe the tongue plate was new loot. Armor innate may not seem exciting, but it's survivability and better chance to hit, so it's actually kind of good. So I can sense something south, but doesn't really tell me if it's 
right in front. It doesn't really tell me if it's here or not. Well, it is. There's a special something here. The necropolis near Illyria's tomb once have must once must have been a glorious sight, but now the white marble tombs are stained gray. You sense great evil from all directions. So is this little maze supposed to be the necropolis? Hold on while I type this up. Okay, done typing. And back to mapping. So... I'm thinking... If we're in a necropolis, and it's full of evil, that suggests they'll be undead. I know, it's a great... I'm, I'm, I'm a genius. It's <laughs> such a wonderful inference. There's a, there's a trap to the south, but I don't know where to place it yet. Um, unless a skeptic is really mean. I feel like this shouldn't be a hard... F I think this should be in the bag. Oh, look at that! Look at that outfit! Oh my goodness! That's some fancy shit. Part of, part of my language. Oh, he's got like, separately moving, articulated bits of armor, and no arms! No arms! So what does a skeptic do? Does he, does he doubt us? Like, I, I, I don't believe your theorem? Does he not believe that we can damage him? And, and then that means that we can't damage him? Uh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Well, uh, we can turn up the stone, that's for sure. Another another cod codger bomb. Codger bomb. I just keep imagining all these annoying all men old men bursting out of the ch the chest when opened inappropriately. Okay, so we've got a sure hand something. A thieves hood sounds like it should go to Elena. Elena is currently using for a hat an adamant helm. What just happens to her armor class? It goes up by one. Considering the adamant helm only offers armor and nothing else, I'm gonna just just assume it's a straight upgrade at the very least. Can it be used? Yes, it can be used for something, but not right now. Okay, so this this trap on the wraparound is at the very edge. No, not there. There. Okay. West. And then, this is going to be hit point drain, isn't it? No, it's something else. Speed up time. Is it a spell regen? Uh, yes it is. writing it shorter and shorter because I, I'm trying to fit it into the space <laughs> when there's other things around. There 
isn't a something here? I thought I determined there was. Well, I guess maybe I just didn't know where it was. Definitely in the spell point drain. Eat one of those non detectable specials. Okay, north. Not on a spell point drain, that's, that's nice. This is a hit point drain. As is this. Also a message here. Please stop and read this while your hit points are draining away. Silver door is tinged with dark tarnish. Vile and obscene things have been scratching into its surface by sharp claws. Does that mean they're like just marking at their territory or are they trying to get out? In which case maybe it's good I teleport it in rather than open the front door. And we sense this spinner from the other side. Mm, and another spinner. Spinners galore. I'm probably gonna get a lot of spell points drained going west here, but yeah, not here, but yeah, but no spell points drained here, but oops, spell points were drained here, and not here. Interesting. Nor here. They just want to get a little, take a little spell points away from you on your way in. Not too much, just a little. Oh, that's, oh, check it out. I kind of forgot about this. Um, if you, uh, if you detect two different instances of a thing, you get two messages. So all my worrying about there being two traps ahead is sort of for nothing, because that's not how it works. Anyway, uh, I went through this, turned south. Let's move south now. I bet those stairs near that are that I'm ejecting to the south are uh are here. Or here rather. I'm betting they're not in front of me. Oh and I'm standing on a stuck spot. Great. Stuck. Probably zoom in some more. It's just hard to do the wraparound stuff with zoom while zoomed in. Please on stick. Come on, come on. Please, thank you. Mm. 
witch, a haste mage, and an indigo dragon. Uh, no. A little spell point drain, hit point drain, rather. You know, in case I've been getting. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It just feels like the game is like. Oh, you thought you were done with the uh, hit point drains? Well, how wrong you were. I'm just gonna cheese out and refill my hit points for free. right there and I'm dumb. Okay, west. And then we can go south and east again. Ooh, awfully quiet. I didn't detect that from here. So I think there's a, a quiet here. spell point drain. I wasn't I wasn't sure I'd I'd hit one because I wasn't paying attention, so I had to go through it again to verify. It's kinda dumb. But that's just how it is. And my light went out, so refreshed. Silence on the far on the wraparound. Can I see it from one up? Yes. Did I already mark it? No. I'm gonna go around to check. Okay. So I wasn't completely ineptly not paying attention. So it's not here, it's here. A uh, Shade Warrior and a Blank Mage. Exactly. I'm over here. So up, east, south, south. Where did I just start detecting that trap? Here. No? Yes. I'm just in a fight. Oh, a mind mage. So one, two. Still haven't hit the trap because it's on the other side of the world.
haven't moved there yet, but I'll do that in a moment. Okay, north. Then east, then north again. Spells waver. I somehow don't think that's gonna be on this side. Oh, stuck. Great. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Not even anything special in this corner? Well, up here spells waver and then uh, here's a spinner I'm just gonna teleport out <laughs> or try anyway uh, one west. I was trying to go through this door right here. And teleporting out didn't work. Fine, I will walk out. Throughout the tomb, you see signs of violation. What was once beautiful has been defaced, and what was sincere has been mocked. Oh my. I feel like an opportunity was missed in this necropolis to put some sort of, you know, undead challenge. There was some, you know, hinting and theming. Off. This is where people in uh, my tabletop party say, Shut up! Stop giving the Game Master ideas. Oh, spells waver to the north here? I don't know how I missed that. Hmm. I'm guessing it's here. And and you know, why have a few squares where nothing interesting happens? try to verify the location of this anti-magic zone. Oh. Yeah, it's right there. I just didn't pay attention. Okay, so I'm going to go west then. To the north, we can see here and then in front and then back there. Hmm. 
So from here we can sense quiet and something. How about from over here? Well, yeah, but it's very hard to... Maybe I, I am kind of unclear whether whether all messages stack if you encounter if you can sense multiple. I guess we can test it right here. Okay, so there's two something quiet spaces and we get only one message. So sometimes it tells us and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, well. Anyway, there's quiets over here somewhere, something like that. This is just an anti-magic. I don't know why I'm stepping in it. How far is the northern wall? Still quite a bit. Still a ways. big. I'm feeling like <laughs> it's going to take a while. Maybe this is not a one session dungeon. Despite all the special squares like spinners and darkness, and spell and hit point drain chaos fiends hmm uh lots of witches um yeah, so despite all those special squares, uh, I don't feel like they've unleashed any kind of, you know, gimmick on me at this point. Like, the the mapping challenge is just, you know, these, these squares are kind of tedious, I guess, to have your points drained. I guess I feel like they're pulling their punches, or I don't know, that's not what this level is about.
kind of like to know what those spells are they're casting. And I'd kind of like them to have an actual spell point pool so that they eventually don't get to cast forever. Seems a little unfair. Yeah, I thought as much. They're casting some sort of spell that makes them harder to hit, I think. Might make them harder to hit with spells, too. I guess I should be glad that they don't have scenario they don't do things like give me twenty bards to fight and they all are casting the healing song. Could you die? That'd be great. Just, just, just die. She got hit by a spell once. I'm trying to stack Ogre Strengths on Grisnok, hoping she'll catch up on the chance to hit. Well, whatever, the spell worked. I don't think I'm going to bother to fight witches in the future, unless they come in smaller groups. Doesn't seem worth it. Where am I? Okay, I'm right there. Fine. something in this direction. And I think we're at wraparound. This is one, two, and I think I'm detecting this something. Okay, so, since we now know how far north this level goes, it's time to 
bring these things to where they belong. Okay, and we subtract three off the y-axis size of this dungeon. Really, it's 17, 13 by 17. Just a very obvious size. So I just pressed Command Plus a few times into the emulator. Hopefully, that doesn't do anything. Uh, I already knew about that spinner. Still can't get over that armor set. It looks freaking awesome. Codger bomb. A spinner here that I raced. How did I do? How did I manage to do that? this trap. There's a gap size one and then another wall. So I think that's what we got here. Oh, and just a little darkness cubby. There's also an odd somewhere. I bet it's here. I'll go ahead and place it speculatively. What do we got to the north? Uh, a passageway that doesn't quite get to the stairs. There is a large black crystal blocking the way north. How 
about teleport. about phase door. Okay. I guess this puzzle door cannot be skipped. Can I teleport out of this place? Let's try it, because I think it's about time. Ten north, eight east. I mean, I can teleport to some places, because I teleported from here to here. But not directly to the exit stairs. Okay. Well, I don't actually have to leave the dungeon to call um, to call the session. I'm going to call this episode uh, complete and uh, say we are part way, maybe halfway through. I would say about halfway to exploring this level of the tomb. Um, is it Alaria's tomb? I kind of think so. I don't remember whether something explicitly told me that. It seems nothing has told me that so far. I just have the impression. Oh, no, this tells me. Alaria's tomb, right there. Okay, so... Um. <laughs> I guess if there's multiple levels, this is the her her friends and family. I don't know. I'm a little confused, but this is clearly the tomb of Illyria, which means probably this is the last part of this world. But I'm going to finish mapping this level next session, and then move on and chase the dragon. See you then.